All right. Thank you. How's it going? All right. What, from a defensive standpoint, I, I guess what the overall takeaway from what happened on Sunday against Green Bay, was it hard? I mean, obviously, a lot of turnovers seems like that's hard to judge it, given the kind of hardness. Well, no, not really. Um, the turnovers and things of that matter really don't make a difference on our part. You know, our, our, our responsibility is to go out there and execute our calls. And really what it came down to is that we had too many minor errors that snowballed. Um, you know, we gave him too much time. And when he had the time, we had lapses in coverage. And uh, we had a lot of self-inflicted wounds out there. What didn't work with the pass rush? I think you stayed with four quite a bit. What was the plan and what didn't happen? Getting him down on the ground. That was the plan. And that's what didn't happen. Is that because of how he was moving away from it, or did you guys want to get to where you needed? Yeah, his craftiness is something that you always have to be prepared for, um, but it's something very difficult to prepare for, as, as with any scrambling quarterback. I mean, um, if you think about the scrambling quarterbacks in the NFL, I mean, obviously he's, he's probably, if not the top one, one of the top ones, and not for the simple fact that, you know, he gets explosive runs when he scrambles, for the simple fact that he can extend a play beyond three and four and five seconds. A situation like that, what are you weighing between, all right, do we bring more pressure, do we stay with four? What was, what's even going on in your decision? It's really to try to force them into critical errors is really what it comes down to. And uh, that, that happens when we get tight coverage It's really what it comes down to. Obviously a different quarterback from the last time you faced the Rams. How, how does golf work on the film and do they look any different? Well, um, I'm, he's a young quarterback. There's, there's no doubt about it. Um, but he, he's got weapons on the outside, on the perimeter that, um, that – you know, historically, these guys have been an explosive offense, you know, just attacking on the outside. Um, you know, they got a really good running back. You know, all the stuff that's there, that's evident, you know, is uh, we, we know what we're going to have to deal with. Uh, they're a divisional team, so it's, it's, it's been a battle. There, there's no doubt about it. So that, that's what we are preparing for. It, it doesn't make a difference who they put back there at quarterback. Uh, we're preparing for a, a battle, no doubt about it. Uh, they're going to they're hand the ball off. They got number 30 in the backfield. That guy can run the ball. Uh, get number 11 is a guy that they love in the, in the short intermediate zones. I mean, they, they love him on his fly sweeps and reverses and things like that. And they try to throw the ball deep to number 18 as much as possible. So it's stuff that we certainly need to be prepared for. I know Steven Terrell didn't get a lot of balls thrown his way, but just what, what stood out with his performance? He was a fantastic. Uh, I mean, he, he was coming downhill. He was making some, some nice hits out there on the field and uh, I, the, the really the big thing about him is he's rarely ever out of position if ever so it's the uh, that's what we count on I said we, we, we need you in the spots that we ask you to be in and he absolutely provides that coaching it seeing it on film whatever did any of those mistakes happen no no um it's not. Our, our mistakes were not because Earl was, was not out there. I mean, it, obviously, it would be great to have him out there. He's been a huge part of our defense. Uh, but, no, he, he was, it was not the reason. Um, again, uh, Stephen Terrell, who's, who's out there in, in that spot, did a great job for us. You haven't had a few sacks, many sacks for a couple of weeks. Is it all sort of different things, or is there a trend there going on? Yeah, we, we have to make sure we put ourselves in a position to be able to get the pressure. And uh, really was that, what that comes down to is we, we have to do really good on first and second down and create third down situations to where we can create the pressure. Green Bay specifically, as fast as whatever you guys tried to sum up the part that they were trying to get you out. How much was that challenge to not be able to change the guys out? It's certainly part of it. And going to the game, we knew that we can only sub when they subbed. Uh, there were a couple of instances out there where they did sub and we still weren't allowed to sub. But, you know, like I said, things happen out there. But um, that, that, that's all part of it. I, I think the really the whole entire NFL knows it. Okay. You done? Anything else? Yeah. All right. Thank you, guys. All right.